what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video i'm going to show you how to boost your fps here in fortnite on a low end pc i prepared a brand new fps boost pack for you and i'm just gonna explain everything and show you exactly how to apply it so therefore if you guys enjoy this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that might save you so much without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic and you guys what i want you to do now in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my link for this site here guys and here you're just simply gonna scroll down and click here on to enter for free as you can see my site here is on german because i'm from germany but for you it should be english just simply click onto it guys and then you can see that you just simply have to click onto like two small ads here super super easy you know nothing happens you know just gonna close it here bam and you're gonna go into this one here doesn't matter you can close it and now you get redirected to the side and what i want you to do then here guys in this next step is click on to download boost fps in fortnite and you're gonna get a small file here yeah which we're going to open and in there we have this file here which is called boost fps in fortnite which we're going to drag onto our desktop and i'm just going to show you now exactly what you have to do it's going to look exactly like this here so you're just simply going to launch it click onto english and this is like a small thing, you know, where you get like one or two ads. It literally doesn't matter. Decline it, decline it. And then you already get the Google Drive link from where you can download the pack, guys. I think in my opinion, that's very fair because you have to watch like two free ads, you know, and then you can literally get the file. I'm working on this every single day. Just simply download it here from Google Drive and you're already good to go. And yeah, guys, then you should have the Fortnite FPS Boost pack here on your PC. So just simply right click onto it, extract it all here onto your desktop real quick and then you're gonna open it up. And in there, we first of all have create restore point because yeah, for some people, you know, they like to first of all make a restore point here actually on their windows, just in case if anything is gonna get messed up, which is not going to happen guys, these are all safe. But if you wish so, you can do it here super easy. Then we're gonna go next up here onto comment tweak. And in there, we first of all have disable useless activities. So we're just simply gonna let it run here and it's already done and important tweaks, yeah? So we just can see here now, disabling power saving features on USB and Ethernet. And afterwards, it's gonna disable all the unnecessary processes on your PC. Then we're gonna go here straight up over to gaming optimization registry tweaks, in which we have even more services on your PC. Something like, I don't know, driver searching, file history services, disable maintainers, um, Windows telemetry, you know, temporary data on your PC, stuff like that. Then you can see here high priority for your Fortnite X actually itself, mouse and keyboard tweaks, and pretty much anything which has anything to do with latency and the speed of your PC. So what you're going to do is you're going to click through all of them, click here onto yes, you know, and apply each and every single one to your PC. I already did it, so therefore I'm not going to do it here on my PC right now. Then we're going to move over to clean junk files. Then we're going to click here now onto disk cleanup and make sure as well that actually our main hard drive is also clean, that we don't have unnecessary data on there. You can see I just recently cleaned mine, so therefore it doesn't really make too much sense, but I'm just going to delete as well all the temporary data here on my PC, which are just slowing it down, you know. And then afterwards, when we're done with that, we can see now as well Fortnite config files, guys. And I have three in there here with very, very low specs, very low or low end PC specs, you know. There are some people who play on like integrated graphics so therefore try out probably these two ones here if you're playing on something like a gtx 460 or like a very old gpu you know which is like kind of still okay try to go for the low end one and what you're going to do is drag those game user settings out here on your desktop you know then we're going to click here into this top bar type in presenter temp presenter click here now onto local press f on our keyboard for fortnite game saved config windows client and replace our current game user settings with the ones which we get here from this file, which I'm not going to do right now because I have mine here with my specific search rest, so therefore I'm not going to do it. But definitely guys, replace it, you know, and then afterwards you're going to click on your game user settings, go into properties, and also make sure that the ad will read only is checked. And with that said, we're pretty much done here guys, and you're going to have definitely way more FPS in Fortnite on your low-end PC. And yeah guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help you so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.